It's Nick Mesner here with Andy Morrison after the Nomads 3-0 victory over Cardiff Met. Andy, four consecutive victories in March now. You couldn't have asked for a better month. Been fantastic, Nick. You know, um, and really reflects what we did in the games before that. You know, we went we went to Banger and we're better than them. We played TNS here and we should have got something from the game. You know, when we've carried on that from the split, we've been very good. You know, we've had to deal with injuries and and problems um, with. Uh, with suspensions, but you know, we like I, like I always say, you know, we, we find a way. Don't come up with excuses. Try and find a way to win the game of football. You know, I went down there and watched them last Sunday. Um, wasn't sure where they would go with the same system. They did, and and I thought we exploited that system very well in the first half, and and caused them different kinds of problems. You know, most pleasing thing for me is the third goal. It's something that we saw how they set up on on set plays, and you know, um, you know, it doesn't always come off, but it did today. You mentioned how pleased you were with the first half there, going 3-0 in at half-time. Would you have then expected maybe to kick on and score a few more in the second half, the way that we, we came out in the first 20 minutes? It's difficult. The emotions of a game are you, you, you've won the game if you keep a clean sheet. Mm. Naturally, they're going to push on maybe 10 yards further up the pitch, which pushes you back a little touch. What's important then is you don't concede a goal. Um, you know, once you can get towards 60, 70 at 3-0, it's, uh, it's very hard for them to come in. And then you will get opportunities on the counter. Um, but, you know, I, I'd say probably the last 15, 20 minutes, there's, you know, there's a lot of tired legs out there. A lot of lads have worked really hard in the last month. And, um, you know, we're going to have a real, a real rest up this week and, and really freshen things up and keep it bright and then head into the semi-final next week. It was actually Cardiff's joint heaviest defeat of the season today, and it was th the other one was three 0 against Bangor. Obviously, you know exactly what Bangor are going to bring to us next week in that cup semi final. Yeah, they will. I mean, listen, I was really worried about the Cardiff Met game today um, because I thought Cardiff Met were much better than Bangor last week. I thought they looked stronger than them. I thought they looked more organised. I thought they had more threats throughout the team. So I was um, worried about this game today, you know, and it was so important that we got over the line, and um, and, and we did, you know, when everything we spoke about on Tuesday and Thursday coming into the game um, the way we wanted to hurt them in certain areas you know and you've got to have the energy and the desire your front men have got to be willing to run in behind you know too often people want to come to the ball they want to keep showing you the hardest thing for a defender to deal with is when a striker wants to spin down the sides and and that's what we did in the in the first half especially and you know, maybe a little bit more quality in the second half we could have opened them up but you know I, I think it was um, probably you know a testament to, to Cardiff Mets physical strength and their fitness levels that they could keep going in that game you know because a lot of teams at 3-0 against us with the way we play would have folded you know but they're a very physically strong team and um, and they stuck at it you know and uh, and, and they were always a th you know they always caused us a threat there was where there was balls going in the box um, but you know it's it's the right result and and like you say it, it finishes off a, a fantastic month for us where you know we've beat um, TNS in the cup we had the, the we had the remarkable comeback victory against Druids which for me that energy of that game has set up these three victories mm. yeah, definitely. where you go to Bala and win and then you get this result today you know so you're asking the question of everyone around you and, and, and as I've just said to the players you know let's not worry about other teams you know it's in our hands you know we win the next three games we're in Europe it's simple as that so that's all you could ask for